Hello everyone, thanks for stopping by. My name is Gary. And I'm Steve, and we have a really cool little tip to show you today. Wouldn't it be great if you could put a couple of icons on your desktop, and maybe you click one and it opens your CD-ROM, and you click the other one and it closes the CD-ROM? Well, we found a tip for you today that does exactly that. Let's take a look. Okay, let's get started here on this by opening up Firefox, and uh, I actually already have it open here, and you'll see that I have the tip that we've already created on this. This is probably where you're at right now watching, watching this video. I'm going to scroll down and click the link right here to download the program that's required to, to make this happen, to open up the drive. Um, we'll want to go ahead and just click that. It should offer us the download. Uh, what you'll want to do is choose to save the file. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. On my computer, it's going to save it to the downloads area. I'm going to right click on this and choose open containing folder. And you'll see it here is our downloads. Um, we need to unzip this file. Windows 7 has an automatic unzip feature in it, so we're just going to double click on it. I'm sorry, we're going to right click on it and we're going to choose Extract All. And it'll ask us what we want to do, just hit Extract. Um, these, aren't, these aren't so important here. Uh, now we have the extracted files. Now in order to get this in some place that's easy to use and, and easy to get to, we're going to copy these to a different location. So I'm going to highlight these and I'm going to hit Control C on the keyboard to copy them. And now what we'll do is we want to put them in a location that's easy to get to. So we're going to go right here to the C drive. And I'm going to create a new folder right in here called Nearsoft, because that's the name of the software that's doing this. We'll double click on that and hit Control V and paste these files in here. Now that they're in here, uh, we don't have to do anything else with these folders. So I'm going to clean things up a little bit here. And I'll minimize this and get back to our desktop. Now, the next step is to create the shortcut. So we'll right click on the desktop and we'll do new and then choose shortcut. It's going to ask us what we want to do in the, in the shortcut. We're going to hit browse and we're going to browse to the folder that we just created. So I'll open computer and I'll open drive C and then we'll open Nearsoft. And then we want to click on this one here, NIRCMD and go ahead and hit OK. Now that puts the location of the file. Now we need to tell it what to do. So the next thing here is to type in CD ROM open and then a space and then the drive letter. Now for this computer, the drive letter is D. Your computer may be different, so you might have to go to the screen and look this up. Ours is D. So now back to this box, I'll just type D colon and hit next. And then it'll ask us to name it. And I'm going to call this CD ROM open and hit finish. Now it's created this desktop icon here for us. Um, just to show you that this works, I'm going to go ahead and double click on this and it'll open up the CD-ROM drive. Um, it does come up with this warning real quick here just saying that, uh, are you sure you want to run this? We're going to say yes and we're going to uncheck this box as always asked before opening the file so it doesn't bug us. This is going to be a Windows 7 and a Windows Vista issue. Windows XP won't do this. Go ahead and hit run and uh, the drive opens up. Now. Um, a couple other things with this, if you want to change the icon on this, we can go to Properties and Shortcut and then Change Icon. And uh, it'll go ahead and open up all these different icon options. Let's find a good one in here. Let's, how about this one that says DVD? Let's open, let's use that one. Hit Apply and hit OK. There it is. It just changes the icon. And then the last part would be to, if you want to do a shortcut key, you can. Right now, mine just says none. But if you click in this box and then you press the shortcut key you want, I'm going to do, go ahead and do Control F6. And uh, you'll see that it shows up there. And then hit Apply and hit OK. Now if I hit Control F6, it'll also open the drive. And um, the final part of this tip is going to be to close the drive. Um, it's very similar to this. It's almost exactly the same. All you're going to do is create the shortcut and in the location where we typed in CD-ROM open D colon, you're just going to type CD-ROM close D colon. That's about all there is to it. There you go. That's all you have to do. And not only is it really convenient, especially if you went ahead and did a little shortcut key, little hot key combination there, that makes it even better. But uh, this is also could be kind of a lifesaver sometimes. Maybe you're going along and your little button doesn't work anymore on your CD-ROM for some reason. You can't get it to eject. Maybe it goes bad on you. You can use these little desktop icons to eject that CD and, uh, and save the disk. 
And as always, if you're uh, watching this video on YouTube, you can always stop by our website at worldstart.com. We have a great computer tips newsletter you can sign up for right there on the homepage. It's where we originally published these videos and also you can get a lot of other great tips. And uh, if you're wanting to ask us a question, you can stop by www.worldstart.com slash ask and uh, ask your question there. We'll be happy to answer them, answer them as soon as we can, and maybe here in these videos. Have a great day.